Bitcoin, Bitcoin when they had a fork, you got Bitcoin Cash, right? Is, is Bitcoin Cash another place for investors to consider? And has it been outperforming on the 200-day moving average? It, it's been under the 200-daily uh, average uh, simply because in November we saw a fork of Bitcoin Cash itself. So Bitcoin Cash, like you mentioned, being a fork of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash then forked into d two different coins. So that's kind of splitting the market. It's like, it's like when, those when, two, you're, two when your stop, when your stock, uh, you know, splits. Uh, so instead of exactly. it going, going up twice as high, it doesn't go up a, a, as much. So what do you think, Taylor, right. is the underlying issue? I mean, is you think it's temporary with regard to Bitcoin, uh, but do you think that? Uh, the, well, well, tell me why you think Bitcoin has sort of settled down, which I think is probably a, generally a good thing for all cryptos ultimately. But what are your thoughts? Exactly. I, I think it's good that Bitcoin's settling down. I, I kind of, I think last time we spoke, I mentioned make crypto boring again. So we see some consolidation in the market. Uh, we start to regain some footing and it, it, we wait for more products to enter the market that are, become tradable and become more familiar and adopters um, start using the cryptocurrencies more. Uh, we can start trending and timing that part of the market cycle with adoption of cryptocurrencies as an actual use case. So we're using them day to day. And I think that's what we're seeing right now is that boring, that the cycle as we're coming out of sort of a recession in crypto um, in the early stages of, like you, like you said, that um, Bitcoin not necessarily being paired or being a primary mover in the market and allowing other cryptocurrencies to flourish. You know it would be fun to do, Taylor, sometime. We have uh, an economist who's been on the show this year, uh, uh, Boris Richard with FTI Consulting, and he's been doing some really interesting work showing that there is actually a correlation between the VIX and Bitcoin, uh, which wow. had not existed before. So uh, maybe you'll come back with us next week or so. We can get you both on the program and talk about that. Uh, Taylor Letterman, uh, cryptocurrency analyst at Simpler Trading. Taylor, thank you so much for your time. Sure, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So uh, it's very important that, for the most part, uh, when it comes to this crypto investing, uh, they were talking about how shares can be diluted. You really don't have to worry about that when you're staying on the legacy network of Bitcoin. Uh, you obviously get a lot of splits, and those splits have destroyed the value of, uh, I, I am an investor in Bitcoin Cash, and unfortunately, the dilution has really hurt. But I didn't invest a large part of my portfolio. Um, I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm over 50% Bitcoin and about 75% Bitcoin and Ethereum. So uh, I don't really have to worry about these uh, dilution worries, but... At the same time, it's important to understand that when you are investing in crypto, you want to be diversified and be very careful when you're dealing with, dealing with lower size cryptos because they can instantly lose value. And uh, I previously have bought lower cap cryptos where they become untradeable because there's just not enough volume and the coins are actually removed off of the exchange. So it's pretty much that your crypto will go to zero. But you're not going to have to worry about stuff like this if you stay in the top 10. Um, but be careful when you're investing with crypto projects that are smaller because you could lose your entire principal. But let me know what you guys think about this on the comments, and I will talk to you soon.